Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to the special edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. It is that time of the week again to count down the 10 hottest cards of the week. Now, Innistrad Midnight Hunt has been released, and it is having a big impact on a number of cards in the secondary market, 10 of which you're going to see today. First off, I do want to note that we're not going to talk about any Innistrad Midnight Hunt cards today because the set hasn't been out for a week yet, so we don't have any prices to base it on from the previous week. Also, too, they are still stabilizing. We'll know more of what those cards are doing in another week or two. Quickly, before we get into the details, though, just a fast reminder, if you go to FlipSideGaming.com, you can use the Heroes promo code to save 10% on orders over $10. Currently, you can pick up Innistrad Midnight Hunt products there. They also have a whole lot of other things on their website. Remember, if your order is over $100 or consists only of singles, shipping will be free in the United States. And whenever you use that promo code, it does support the channel, which is always appreciated. So thank you. And without any further ado, let's get into it. Number 10 is Essica's Chariot. This is up 208 this week to 583. That is a 55% increase. This is a good time to let you know how we compile our top 10 every week. We look at two major pieces of criteria. The first is a percentage increase in value for the cards. And secondly, we want to see a true increase in sales out there. With that out of the way, let's talk more about Essica's Chariots. We just had standard rotation, and this card is performing very well in this new standard environment. First off, the mono green aggro deck is very popular, doing really well. There are four copies of this in that build, and it's in other decks too. Selesnia Ramp, Grill Werewolves, Grill Aggro, Saltai Festival. In Pioneer, there's four of these in Naya Winoda. Plus, it is getting a good amount of commander play in many builds. It's in Ren and Siri Inseparable, and much more. Number 9 is Ranger Class, up 277 to $8. That is a 53% increase, and this is another card performing very well in the new standard. There's also four copies of this, as a matter of fact, in Mono Green Aggro. Plus, this is in Girl Werewolves and Girl Aggro. Pioneer, it's in Mono Green Ramp, and you can also find this in Mono Green as well as Celestia Company. Plus, it's getting a huge surge in Commander play now in the Tovalar Dire Overlord slash Tovalar the Midnight Scourge decks. Obviously, those decks are extremely popular because of the werewolf support that came from Innistrad Midnight Hunt. Number 8, Kroon Outlaw, up 301 to $5. That is a 152% increase. And this is yet another card seeing a big amount of commander play now because of Tovalar builds, because of that werewolf tribal support I just mentioned. Number 7 is Graveborn Muse, the Legion's copy of 230 to 649. That is a 55% increase. The 10th edition copy of 345 to 865, that is a 66% increase. It is worth noting, though, that this card is on the list now, starting with Innistrad Midnight Hunt, so it might be a little slow going, but eventually some more copies will be entering the marketplace. It will especially make a difference if the card sticks around for another set or two. But anyway, why is this card going up as much as it is right now? Well, it is seeing more commander play, too, not because of werewolves, but because of the zombie support that came with Innistrad Midnight Hunt. This is a good upgrade to the Commander deck Undead Unleashed, and I have seen some Commander players also adding this to fresh builds around a card from there. Will help the Rock Cleaver. Number 6 is Plague Belcher. It's up 355 to 549. That is a 183% increase. Now this is moving for the same reasons as Greyborn Muse, but I will say the Command Zone podcast did an upgrade video for the Undead Unleashed Commander deck this week, and they did mention this card. I do think that brought a lot of attention to it. Number five is Crypt Breaker. This is up 456 to 1247. That is a 58% increase. And this is also moving for the same reasons that Greyborn Muse was moving. But there is one additional thing to note about this card. Sure, Commander is probably still the key driver for this price increase. But there is a Pioneer Zombie build kicking around out there that has 5 to League and MTGO. It runs Innistrad Midnight Hunt cards like Champion of the Perished and Rotten Reunion. But it also runs four copies of Crypt Breaker. Number four is Mayor of Averbrook. This is up 673 this week to 1739. That is a 63% increase. Now, as you may have guessed, this is seeing additional Commander play in Tovalar builds. It was even in a Tovalar build on game nights this week. But it is worth pointing out that to a lesser degree, you are seeing this in some other builds around new cards from the set. They include Catilda Dawnheart Prime, Sigarda Champion of Light, 
Some players are also picking this up as an upgrade to the new commander deck Cub Encounters, and still others are putting this in fresh builds around a card from there, Kyler Sigardian Emissary. I do think the werewolves are pushing this price much more than the humans, but I'm sure they're having at least a little bit of influence here too. Number three is Undead War Chief. This is a solid zombie lore, now again moving because of the new zombie support. This is another good upgrade to Undead Unleashed, or a good card to put in a fresh commander build around Will Help the Rock Cleaver. The Scourge copy up 417 this week to 1094, that is a 62% increase. The Plain Chase copy up 549 to 1385, that is a 66% increase. And the Time Spiral copy up 793 to 1699, that is an 88% increase. Number two is the Scarab God. The Hour of Devastation copy is up 1068 to 3217. That is a 50% increase. The Double Masters copy up 1213 to 3308. That is a 58% increase. Now sure, this does see some Pioneer play in five color Yorian, sometimes nip to light. But again, the real reason this is moving the way it is right now is because of that zombie tribal support we've been talking about. It is a popular commander for zombie tribal. More players, of course, are playing that tribe, so stands to reason more are going to want to pick up this card. Additionally, it is another good upgrade to Undead Unleashed, and another card you might want to put in a fresh build around Will Help the Rock Cleaver. And number one is Grave Crawler. Now, of course, this does see Legacy play in Hogak builds, but again, not the reason it's moving up in value. You know what that reason is by now. Midnight Hunt Zombies, Undead Unleashed, Will Help the Rock Cleaver, so on and so forth. But I will say one additional thing about this card. It was another one that was featured in that Command Zone podcast episode talking about upgrades for Undead Unleashed. The Dark Ascension copy goes up $9.27 this week to $25. That is a 59% increase. The Mystery Booster copy is going up $13.77 to $26.49. That is a 108% increase. And remember, that's even with the additional convention Mystery Booster boxes going out recently to game stores. So not too long ago, some more copies of this were injected into the marketplace. And finally, we have the Dual Decks Blessed vs. Cursed copy. It is up $15.69 to $27 this week. That is a 139% increase. Well, that does it for this episode of the Top 10 Hot Cards of the Week. I put cute kitties in the background, but most of the cards in the Top 10 were zombies, so sorry about the bait and switch. But remember to join us for our regular episode of the Market Watch this weekend, where we deep dive into everything that's happening in the secondary market. Until then, stay safe out there. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.